After waiting four hours, PUP leader Francis Fonseca, backed up by his standard bearers and air representatives, including John Bresenio, presented themselves to the media. The four-hour meeting was about two important subjects, the party's colossal loss at the municipal elections and the scandalous recording of Bresenio's private conversation with a supposed party supporter. That conversation, believed to be recorded just before the municipal elections, is now in the public domain. And while many may say that what has been said is nothing new, the mere fact that a senior politician and high-ranking parliamentarian has been caught on the record speaking about his colleagues was scandalous enough that it formed part of today's discussion. The United Democratic Party believes that the recording of John Bersenio is a devastating piece of evidence of corruption during the Musa administration and that the PUP cannot ignore it. And as he said in his release yesterday, Bersenio would not comment on the content of the recording itself. A few weeks ago, a tape was made of a private conversation that I had with somebody that I, that, that, that I thought that I trusted, somebody that I knew for decades, and never did I thought that that person would have betrayed my trust by recording what I was speaking to him privately. Yesterday, I took out a short statement making it clear that I will not discuss what I have said privately with those individuals. We have one leader. That leader is Honorable Francis Fonseca. I yes. support Francis yes. Fonseca. I support his leadership. I've been working along with him and with other members of the national executives and also with other standard bearers. I stand here as a proud member of the People's United Party. I believe in the principles and the policies of the People's United Party. Also standing there was Said Musa, the former leader of the PUP and former Prime Minister of Belize. In the recording, Bresenio goes on to share a few financial mismanagement during the Musa administration, specifically the yen swap that caused Belize to lose $3 million. And while Bresenio would not comment on the recording itself, Musa was not so conservative in his remarks. How do you feel about what Mr. Bresenio said about you? Well, I feel like all he said was false, and I know it was false. No, what his state of mind was, I don't know. But I can tell you that we discussed it fully today, and I'm satisfied that we have a way to move forward now. According to Fonseca, the issue of unity and the other problems and challenges that the party is facing dates as far back as 2006, but they are now dealing with it. We will deal with it in a responsible way, in a brotherly way, uh, and we believe we are on the way to resolving whatever differences exist among us. Uh, what we are focused on, as you have heard very clearly today, is moving forward, moving forward united uh, in working together for the good of the people of this country. We're all in the process of self-examination. The entire party is in that process of self-examination. Uh, and we're going to fix it. We understand the challenges and problems that exist in our party. And we are going to fix those problems and challenges. And we're going to move forward. I want to make it abundantly clear that the enemy is not within us. The enemy is outside of the PUP. We have one enemy, and that is the people, and that is the United Democratic Party. Will Mr. Bresenio be sanctioned? Uh, no, we discussed that today. As I said, it's an internal matter, man. It's an internal but matter. It's a people's we, party. It's a public party. It's a public party. But yeah, there are many, many other issues. Uh, we are committed to working uh, together. That is the message from today's meeting. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.